Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a review for you guys and today I will be reviewing and doing a demo on the Unique Fiber Mascara and I've been wanting to try this for a very long time um, and I'm super excited because an Instagram user, um, Becky, she sent this to me to review and I'm not getting paid or anything to make this video and these are my own honest opinions so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know how it worked for me and if it might work for you and so I will list all of her links down below on where you can purchase it and also her Instagram so that you can go and check out other people and how it's worked for these other people so Becky is a unique presenter so um, they kind of like sell these products so again I will list all of her links down below if you guys are interested but yeah the unique fiber mascara it just comes in this really cool sturdy kind of like a uh, eyeglass case which I think is really cool and um, it just comes with two different steps so it has the transplanting gel and then also the um, transplanting fiber and then with this case it also came with this kind of like flyer thing that gives you instructions and tips on how to apply this fiber mascara because it's not like a regular mascara with just one step you have to do the um, transplanting gel and then the fiber and then the gel again just to kind of lock everything in so that fibers aren't all over your face or whatnot so I will just kind of show you a little like snippet of this little flyer I'm not gonna go go and read through the whole thing because that would be too much and again it just gives you some tips on how to achieve the best look with this um, fiber mascara so if you guys want to see my review and also my demo on how I applied this fiber mascara then definitely keep watching I will also have before and after pictures um, this is two layers so I will have pictures of my before without any of the mascara and then the one layer and then two layers so hopefully that will give you some insight on how how buildable this mascara is oh so yeah let's just get right into it so this is what the flyer looks like. It comes inside of the case and it just gives you some directions and some tips and other information. So the directions are first you want to apply the coat of transplanting gel. Then you immediately want to apply the natural fibers and then again you want to apply the transplanting gel to seal everything. And so this is just what the case looks like. It comes in a very hard sturdy black case kind of like eyeglass case and just has the logo here in the front. And the inside just looks like this. It has like these two loops where the um, little, what do you call it, tubes go in. It's very secure. And so this is the first tube. It is the transplanting gel. It's a little bit longer than the fibers. And um, the wand looks like a regular mascara wand. Um, the gel, however, looks a little bit thicker than regular mascara, which I think is great because then the fibers really have something to stick onto. Alright, so this is the natural fibers. The tube looks just like the gels, um, however this tube is a little bit shorter. And this one just has a bunch of tiny little black fibers at the end of it. And um, these fibers attach to the transplanting gel and that's what causes the length and the volume in your eyelashes. So that's what that looks like. And yeah, this is just what my eyelashes look like with no mascara or products in it. As you can see, they are pretty short, not a lot of volume, and you can't really tell that I have eyelashes just by looking at here so I'm just showing a bunch of angles so first I'm just gonna start off by curling my eyelashes I'm just using my Sephora eyelash curler it's nothing special I do this every time I put mascara on so first step is to apply the transplanting gel and how I like to apply my mascara is I like to wiggle it as you can see here I start from the base and then I wiggle and kind of move the wand upwards towards the end of my eyelashes I do this so that first it coats um, the base of my, um, my not my mascara my eyelashes and then it um, creates length as I move towards the end of my eyelashes if that makes sense so I'm just gonna do that and make sure all of your eyelashes are coated so that the um, fibers can really attach onto them next you immediately want to go in with your fibers so I'm just going ahead and grabbing my fiber and you just want to do the same thing I kind of wiggle but I don't wiggle as much um, I start from the base and move up the more you concentrate on the base, the more volume you get, the more you concentrate on the ends, the more length you get. So that's something really important to keep in mind. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I touch every part where I put the gel. So you really want to get into the inner corner and also the outer corner for some length at the outer corner. And then after that, of course, you want to go ahead and go back and apply your transplanting gel to seal in everything. If you forget this third step, then um, some of these fibers can fall into your eye and onto your cheeks. It just, it's not painful or anything, but it's really good to seal it so that um, 
all of the fibers stay on your eyelashes so you really want to make sure you don't forget this third step and yeah I'm just going ahead and just doing the same thing I did in step one just wiggling and making sure all the fibers stick onto my eyelashes so this is what my eye looks like with just one layer of the fiber mascara um, a little bit more of a difference than without mascara so this is the comparison of no mascara and one layer so my eyelashes are a little bit more visible darker and just looks a little bit better so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye just so that everything is equal so we're just gonna re repeat the same steps first you want to apply the transplanting gel second apply the natural fibers and then third seal it again with a transplanting gel So this is what this eye looks like with one layer on and we're just going to go ahead and look at both eyes with the one layer on and this is what it looks like again it adds more volume more um, length and just can, you can see my eyelashes more compared to not having anything on I do compare this very similar to just having regular mascara with just one layer on and uh, this is just a before and after so no mascara at the top and then one layer at the bottom so you can see I have more volume and more length we're gonna go ahead and add a second layer and this is when you really get that volume and length in there so I'm again just repeating the same steps um, transplanting gel fibers and then sealing again with a transplanting gel these are just some tips on adding length and volume depending on your preference I like to add more length so I just take my transplanting gel and just kind of tap that on the ends of my eyelashes and then I take the transplanting um, fibers and just again tap that onto the ends of my eyelashes and this really adds a lot of um, length because then the fibers attach to the ends of your eyelashes and then in order to add more volume you just do the same thing but you do it on the base of your eyelashes so you use a gel on the base of your eyelashes and then Rub the fibers on the base and then don't forget to seal them you can also use a comb to brush out because I find that it does get a little bit clumpy with all these fibers just kind of adding up onto your eyelashes and it's very optional just to go ahead and comb it out just so you can separate the lashes a little bit more so this is what my eyelashes look like with one layer compared to two layers as you can see there's a big difference um there's a lot lot more length that's something i really really noticed and there is a little bit more volume so i definitely definitely love the length in this mascara so all right guys so this is what two gonna layers look like as you can see i have a eye, lot of volume and a lot of layer layers so if you had regular mascara on it would definitely not look like this i've um never really had anything like this before it's crazy i've tried a previous um fiber mascara but this one works well every time so i really really recommend it and as you can see here it's just is such a big difference from having no mascara and just from one layer so this is what they all look like with no mascara one layer and then the two layers as you can see from the one layer it added a little bit of volume a little bit of length but two layers really added um, more volume and also a lot of length so it looks like false lashes to me personally and then this is just what the side view looks like I just wanted to show you guys the amount of length that um, this mascara added so I really really recommend this mascara for you to try out I will leave all of um, Becky's information down below if you guys are interested Overall, I really like this mascara. I feel like I added a lot of volume and length without having to wear fake lashes. So if you're looking for something to wear every day without having to put um, false lashes on, I would really recommend trying out this mascara. Um, the only downside I found was that it does get a little bit clumpy and also um, the fibers can fall down on your cheek if you don't seal it. So make sure to seal it. But overall, I really enjoyed it and I do highly, highly recommend trying it out. Again, I will leave all the information down below on where to purchase this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.